Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Social Live. We are live from a very rainy and muggy Manhattan today. It's disgusting. It is a, definitely a bad hair day in New York. You've got your hair done. It looks great. Thank you so I much. I am the bad hair day today. No, Joel, stop <laughs> it. So, um, yes, I did get my hair and makeup done this morning because we have a very exciting event happening this evening. Courtney and I are going to be walking in Jessica Abo's fashion show during New York Fashion Week. She has created a whole line of inspirational t-shirts and asked us as well as some other entrepreneurs to walk in her show. And Jess, who was on Social Live mm -hmm. a couple of months ago, um, she was hard at work on her book called Unfiltered, How to Be As Happy As You Look on Social Media. I think this is everyone's question. I, it's definitely mine. How can you be as happy as you look on social media? I don't know. Can I walk around with a filter on? You can read this book <laughs> and oh, then you're going to find out how you can be as happy as you look on social media. So definitely check out Jessica's book. You can get it on Amazon. Just look up the title and we can, or we can put the link below so you can uh, buy her book and find out how to be as happy as you look on social media. And check out uh, the entrepreneur.com Facebook Live tonight if you head over to Entrepreneur's Facebook page and we'll be showing it out on the Social Fly Facebook page. You'll be able to watch the entire runway show and um, it should be a good time. Yeah, I can't wait. And it will be my first New York Fashion Week show. Oh wow, this yeah. is a big deal. I know, I've, I've walked in a few obviously, but this will be my first time in the audience. In the audience, yeah. like in the front row. Do you, know, you know you're sitting in the front row. Next to Anna Wintour, correct? Hold I heard on. she'll be there. You're sitting um, <laughs> next to Right here. This is from Front Row for oh Jules. Jules, Dijon, and Greg. I'm going to wear 15. black sunglasses the entire time. You should. Okay. Just make sure you can still get some good photos. I will. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of events, our guests will be on our show in just a few moments are the founders of this amazing pop-up event. I'm not going to share details yet until they come on and, and tell you guys, but definitely start sharing this episode. You'll be entered for a chance to win two tickets to their pop-up. Um, it's going to be really exciting. Oh my God, I can't wait. But we have some breaking social media news to get to because that is why you guys probably tune into the show. Mm -hmm. You want to know what's happening on Facebook and Instagram. Mostly Instagram. Today. Mostly Instagram. So we'll start with Instagram. Instagram is actually testing video tagging. And this is something I've been waiting for for a while because when you post a video on Instagram, it's always so annoying. You can't tag your friends in the video. I want them to get an alert so they, so they can see it. And now it looks like Facebook is testing and going to roll out this feature where you'll be able to tag your friends in the video and then there'll be a special button on the video you can click and then it will open up another um, page where you'll, it'll list all of the people that are tagged in the video. I think this is really cool. I'm excited to see how especially influencers are going to use this if they're going to start tagging brands that they're working with yeah. in their video content that they're posting on their feed. And I'm curious as to if this will encourage more users in general to <laughs> post more video content to their actual feed instead of just going to stories for video content. Exactly. A lot of times I don't even want to post videos on my Instagram feed personally because I hate that I can't tag people and brands. Yeah, I mean, Instagram hasn't shared a lot about this test yet, nor have they discussed plans for a larger rollout of the feature, but the experiment is underway right now to a select group of users, and we'll definitely keep you guys posted on when this rolls out to everybody, if it does roll out to everybody. But Instagram actually had another really big update come out last week that they are working on an app a standalone app that is solely for shopping. Amazing. I am really interested in this feature. So Instagram has been making a lot of move towards e-commerce for a long time now. There's actually over 25 million active Instagram business profiles and four, and four out of five Instagram users follow at least one business on the platform, which is huge. Yes. So this update makes total sense for Instagram to do. Um, the app is look, they're speculating that the app is going to be called IG shopping and would highlight businesses and items from items from businesses that you already follow on Instagram that you can just shop directly on the standalone app. I think this makes so much sense for Instagram. It's really going to become a competitor of Shopify. Exactly. Yes. Who they've been working with yes. to help to get shopping tags on the platform already. So that's kind of They're like learn everything about the Shopify platform and then let's just make it exactly. ourselves and make it better. I definitely yeah. have some questions though, because as we've talked about a lot on the show, the standalone app for IGTV hasn't really taken off the way I think Instagram hoped it would. A lot of most users it seems like are just going to IGTV through the Instagram yes. app. So I wonder if 
you know, if you can already just shop on Instagram, why you would yeah. then go to a separate app to do that? I like all my stuff in one, one place. place. Me too. Um, but which maybe is, the shopaholics. Yeah, people exactly. People really want to spend the time like going yeah. through every single thing. I do love that the platform, the app, and like the website like to know it. Yes. So when you like something on Instagram, you can then go into the app and see like a feed of what you've liked and shop from there. <laughs> so I don't know if they're going to kind of mimic that layout, but that would definitely make sense for them. And I. I think I'll probably use this, yeah. this app. And we'll definitely keep you guys posted. Uh, we wrote a blog post about this potential update last week, so definitely head on over to the Social Fly blog and we'll put up the link so you can read all about this potential new new app. And then we do have a big Pinterest update today. We don't always talk too much about Pinterest, but it's an incredible platform. They have now reported that they hit 250 million users. And while, while this might not sound as impressive as you know Facebook and Instagram with over a billion users, these are 250 million people who are going on this platform because they either know they want to buy something right then or they aspire to want to have something in the future. So these are, these are shoppers, these Pinterest users. Totally. And it's really important that brands who sell e-commerce do have a presence and a plan on Pinterest to really drive sales. I thought it was really interesting when I was reading about this update. I found two things really, really interesting. So one, the Pinterest CEO has repeatedly said over the last few months that Pinterest is not a social yeah. network. And it, they really are moving directly towards e-commerce completely. I also found it really interesting that in some of the reports I was reading about this new update, the platform credits a lot of their success to remaining a positive and trustworthy platform. And especially with everything that's happened with Facebook over the last year and Instagram and Facebook rolling out time well spent and yeah. YouTube now, I think it's really cool that Pinterest has seen all this success by remaining true to who they yeah. are and they really have a very highly engaged audience that they love their Pinterest wedding boards, yeah, I think. I, you know, I say it all the time. I planned my entire wedding on Pinterest. I don't know how I would have ever had the inspiration to do what I did for my wedding without Pinterest. And, pin, and Pinterest isn't a platform that I go to and just spend you know, hours aimlessly scrolling through Pinterest like I might do on Facebook or Instagram. I go to Pinterest with intent because I know there's something I need to do, whether it's to get inspiration for a photo shoot or there's something I wanna buy and I wanna see you know, how other people are using it. Hairstyles, I go to Pinterest all the time for yeah. weddings. So. Another thing I really love about Pinterest too, now that you say that, is when you, you know, on Instagram or something, if you want to search for something specific, they have to, it has to have a hashtag. <laughs> but I, some of my searches are very, very specific, like small space apartment NYC design decor. And there's not a hashtag for that on Instagram, no. but on Pinterest, they get so specific with their searches and like you can find anything you want and make a new board. I love it. We're just going to keep loving on Pinterest for the now rest I'm like, of the show. I'm about to start my Pinterest game again. Yeah. Wow. Step up. Step up your Pinterest game, Jules. Yeah. <laughs> so those are all our big social media updates for this week. And now we are so excited to welcome to the show our friends Brian and Jason. They are the founders of the Human's Best Friend Pop-Up, which opens this Friday. Welcome, guys. Welcome Hi to the Hi. What's up, guys? Yes. Hey. Oh, no. Oh, no. Pinterest, Pinterest live. Pinterest. I I got in the room, like, Sorry, get out of here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for making your way over here this week to talk about your new pop-up. Can you tell everyone a little nice. bit about it? Totally. So Human's Best Friend is essentially uh, in the vein of sort of the in vogue kind of Instagram museum pop-ups that you've been seeing a lot uh, in some major cities in the U.S., but has a kind of a huge social mission. Um, we're lifelong dog lovers, and we wanted to create something that would marry our uh, design abilities were originally live experience designers for theater and events and activations and concerts and uh, and we wanted to marry that to something a cause that we love which mm -hmm. is kind of dogs and giving dogs forever homes and so we started to sort of put those together and the project sort of came to fruition that way how long did it take from the time you had the idea to do this pop-up to the actual <laughs> launch this week um, I would say we, we chatted about it at, uh, maybe May June and we hit the ground running at the end of June. Oh my gosh, so it's only so, that was so fast. It's, yeah, yeah totally, very totally. fast, very fast. So you designed um, everything, you got the sponsors, you just made it happen quickly. Totally. Absolutely. Um, you know, a big part of it is was the rescue groups, yeah. and we'll, we'll touch on that, but um, that probably took about four weeks to gather um, all of our partners mm -hmm. that are working with us each week. Um, you know, that, that was probably the, the, the largest yeah. sort of like first push. And then it became design and then we're building right now. We open on Saturday. So amazing. We're Can excited. you share a yeah. little bit about what 
people who attend the pop-up can expect? What kind of experiences <coughs> are there going to be for attendees? Totally. Um, basically, we wanted to create something that would put our guests who are either dog owners and dogs themselves or dog lovers. I travel 300 days a year, so I can't have a dog and give them kind of like a proper home. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to create an experience where even if you don't personally have a dog that you could come and experience a dog-centric environment and meet some dogs who are looking for forever homes. So essentially people who come to the event are welcomed into a series of spaces like the backyard and the dog house and the boneyard and the rainbow bridge and the toy pit and the water bowl and the paw print hill and you sort of travel um, either by yourself or with friends or with your four-legged friend, your best friend, uh, through a series of spaces that are interactive and highly colorful and each of them sort of has a different theme and some of them feel sort of like a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids version of a dog's view. You oh sort of God. come into an oversized version of the dog house That's and there's so cool. a, and you know, no humans are allowed on the couch, sort of like reversing the <laughs> rules in that. a way. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and so each of the spaces is, you know, very sort of Instagrammable, mm -hmm. but then along the way you get to meet our rescue partners and, um, and engage with different rescue groups and learn about their efforts. And so it's sort of like a married thing. You're meant to have a really good time and also hopefully engage with a group that uh, is doing some really good work for dogs. That's amazing. So Absolutely. let's talk about creating an event that's Instagrammable because now with social media, in order to really spread the word about something, mm -hmm. it has to be posted on Instagram or on social media for people to know that they were actually there. So how do you go about that when you're when you're designing? Totally. I mean, I think I think social media is at its best like a tool for community making, right? It's a way to get your experience to transfer across some kind of like digital divide and tether it to someone else's and make that sort of a, a fun thing. So in a basic form, that means, you know, beautiful colors or beautiful textures, right? But really what that means to us from coming from a theatrical background is that from the moment you come into the experience, we take care of you the entire time. You don't walk in and this corner of the room is taken care of and there's a really cool thing to take a photo of there. Everywhere you look, there's something. So we have nine discrete spaces and each of them has four to five very exciting things happening in them that you want to take a picture with or engage with. And we wanted to create kind of a balance between things that people could do uh, alone or with their dog or with a friend's dog or with just a friend. So that all of those sort of, there, there was an interactive element to each thing um, that wasn't just, oh, I, I'm standing in front of a backdrop and taking a fun photo. So for us, I think it's about engagement and about sort of identifying, um, it's not to say that every good idea you've ever had for a photo can make it into every pop-up that you ever work on. It has to really sort of pertain to, in our case, the, the mission and the understanding that we're here to celebrate dogs yeah. and why we love them and why they you know, enhance yeah. our quality of life. Absolutely. And you know, for me, social media uh, and art, I, I love, seeing people um, create their own art via what totally. we've created, mm -hmm. you know, by taking a photo of it yeah. in a different way that I never thought, you know, could be taken, um, and turning it into their own and then sharing it. That's what excites me the most. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Um, mm -hmm. Is there, so, okay, when you're designing <laughs> pop-ups like this, are you designing them with social media in mind, like how it's going to look, or is it more of a general feel you want the attendees to have? I think, I mean, that's definitely a huge part of it, right? I mean, uh, you know, we spend a lot of time considering on this one in particular, it's not about, you know, the four of us hanging yeah. out in front of something and making sure that we can be captured in a square. We're considering that it's us and a four-legged friend, right? Yeah. Yeah. So in a lot of, it, for a lot of the sort of the photo moments, for example, we're partnering with The Doggist, um, yeah. who's huge on Instagram yeah. and in the Love world the to do the oh. first ever live exhibition of The Doggist portraits. Oh, wow. And so we have kind of this one section out in the backyard where there's all of these dogs August portraits, which are all squares, and um, and then in the center, underneath the doggist and on a pedestal, is a square frame that's empty, where you and your dog can hang out oh to be God. on in the doggist gallery so wall. Cool. So to create an opportunity where the aperture mm -hmm. is you know suitable for both humans and for best friends has been a big part of our discussion to Absolutely. make sure that we don't create something really really cool, but it's 15 feet tall and you yeah. can't get your dog in the picture, and you're like, oh no, I didn't get that moment. So yeah, it's a big part of it. That's really yeah. cool. So every time we put on an event, I always get nervous in the morning. Is anyone actually going to show up to my event. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what have you guys done to get excitement around the pop-up and ensure that you are going to be flooded with humans and puppies when, when the uh, pop-up opens? Of course. Um, we, well, we started with a photo shoot. Um, you know, we wanted to craft our own content before the thing that we were making actually exists. Um, so we brought in 12 uh, rescues 
and we had a photo shoot in our studio, um, and it was an amazing day. Um, and we've sort of used that content to, to, to push out to social media yeah. and sort of create our own human's best friend brand using all dogs that are um, available for adopted, adoption or were adopted. And you said they're called now adoptables. They're called right? adoptables, yes, yeah. I love it. Adoptables, which is the word I love. <laughs> I love it awesome. too. Yeah. And where is sense. the pop-up? How can everyone yeah. follow you? Totally. So we're at Humans BF on Instagram, mm -hmm. and uh, we're Humans Best Friend on Facebook, and we're www.humansbf.com. Uh, and that's where you can find tickets and information about us and visuals and all of that good stuff. And um, we are going live in the West Village on Saturday. So we're on 12th Street and 7th Avenue. Amazing. Um, right across from the AIDS Memorial Park. Um, so there's a lot of foot traffic in that area. Literally yesterday we're so loading dogs. And all oh these God. dogs yeah. walking by. And we're like, just a few more days. I've come back to us just a few more days, please. Um, so yeah, we're right in the heart of the West Village. So do people yeah. have to purchase tickets ahead of time? Or if people are walking by, can they walk in and buy a ticket when they're there, when they get there? They can buy a ticket um, on on our on the app on the app on the okay. app yeah yes. so they can walk up and buy a ticket life. and then walk in you know, after they check in absolutely and you guys yeah. we're giving away two tickets to this pop up so share this episode or comment below if you want to win these tickets because you're not going to want to definitely don't want to miss this <laughs> pop up so <laughs> it opens on Saturday Friday's yes. the press preview yes. Saturday it opens yes. and when does it go until we run for two months basically two we're months. open until November twelfth five days a week and. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're, we're open a lot of the day, and we have different time slots each day that people can come. So, you know, everyone should come check it out. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be pomazing, as they say. <laughs> I love it. I love creating all the new uh, hashtags. Oh my gosh, the lingo is so real. Yeah. <laughs> What's your other favorite uh, dog hashtag to uh, use or saying? Uh, pup dates. Pup dates. Pup dates. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we we're dropping that. some pup yeah. dates later. You can sign up for sure. treats and pup dates at our website. Treats and pup dates. It's the best. It's the, best. <laughs> the dog community is unlike any sort of, I mean, we both have theater backgrounds yes. and live music, designed Sam Smith's World Tour and huge events. And, and the, the dog community is unlike any other we've ever engaged with. And we're so <clears throat> grateful to all of their support. I mean, everyone is so warm and just wants to help and mm -hmm. really, really spread the good message of, of fostering and adopting dogs and helping rescues and, and finding mm -hmm. dogs forever homes. I mean, it's just like the most generous group of people that we've ever, ever worked with. And Absolutely. I mean, the love of dogs is, it's, I mean, when you come and it's just puppies everywhere, yeah. you're going to lose your mind. It's yeah. going to be the There's best. There's nothing yeah. like it. I got a dog in uh, February, and I am a crazy dog mom yes. now. Like, I um, actually think I'm a little bit insane with this dog. <laughs> like, my whole world and life revolves around it. And speaking of dogs, Buddy. Oh, Buddy's sleeping. Is Buddy oh, Buddy. Oh, Buddy's going to make his appearance. So. Buddy is like, I don't know. I think this is yes. Buddy's first appearance on Social Live. Buddy is in the dog. He just this wasn't like, in my rider. I don't know how I feel. Buddy's oh, hi, Bud. Hi. Can Buddy I don't know if we're going to, do you mind? Oh, of course. Yes. Yeah. 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 Hey. 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 Really? Hey. Angela, can Buddy come hey. on Friday? Yeah. Hey. Oh my God, please. But so we love Buddy's bandana that. too. So oh my God, so stylish. So it's, it's fashion week after all, yeah. right? So I mean, we really had to deliver some with Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you guys be sure to comment below if you want to win two tickets to the pop-up. Buddy will be there this weekend. Thank you guys so much for coming Thank on for and telling us. everyone about the pop-up and Thank everything you you've done us. in such a short amount of time. I'm so impressed. It's so <laughs> amazing. And be sure to follow Humans Best Friend. They're on Instagram at humansbf. We'll be putting up all the links below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see you next Wednesday. Have a good week, everyone. Bye, guys.